What's up everybody? Today we have a pretty big day. Kona, you want to tell them what we got going on here? Oh, yeah? You're gonna you're gonna beat up on Harley a little bit? Oh, and then you're gonna take a nap? And then you're gonna get some pets? Man, it sounds like you have a pretty tough day. All right, first we need to go ahead and run over to one of the remodels that we have going on right now. I need to grab some measurements for the engineer for a wall that we're trying to remove. So let's go ahead and head over there. Today is a classic Pacific Northwest day. It is pretty darn wet and it's supposed to get up to 40 mile an hour winds today. So we're going to be having the full crew over at this place today. What they're going to be doing today is putting down some underlayment for the flooring. So a little bit of history with this place is that about 15 years ago, there was a fire in this place burnt pretty much entirely down. They try to save parts of it like this subfloor and that created a lot of dips and valleys. As you can kind of see, this isn't really the best condition for what the floor is. There's a lot of deflection. So we're going to be using 1932 OSB and laying that over the current subfloor. That will help take out a lot of the deflection for when we go through and put in the LVP. While we have a couple of guys going and working on that, we'll have Marvin and Todd work on framing some temporary walls for when we go ahead and remove this load bearing wall right here. We need to go ahead and see what's going to be underneath where the point loads for this wall is going to be at. That way we can ensure that the structure is actually going to hold up. So with that, let's go ahead and grab some measurements. It's a little dark down here. What we need to figure out for down here is that there's two point load areas for this place. So I want to see what the structure of this wall is. I need to pull the measurements to see if they align with what's up top. So let's go ahead and use our handy dandy laser measuring tape. We'll pull some dimensions, get that sent over to the engineer. Hopefully he'll be able to wrap up a plan for us. That way we can go ahead and move forward with removing the load bearing wall. Okay, well, I got my measurements for this place, but we're running into a little bit of an interesting conundrum here. Where that load bearing wall is, is not actually centered over this stem wall right here. It's actually about two foot over right here on this point. Kind of interesting find with that is that you can definitely see where there was a beam pocketed here before. So I need to go ahead and open up a little bit of this drywall to see if there's any joists or anything else that's supported right here where a point load's gonna be at. So I need to run up real quick, grab my oscillating tool, cut open the drywall and see what we have up underneath it. <laughs> Now we got those sections all cut out. Thankfully the point load does fall on like a six pack of floor joists that are uh, two by nine floor joists. So that's good. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'll have to go ahead and send these pictures and measurements over to the engineer. And we'll have to see what we kind of go from, from there. So I'm gonna go ahead, get that all written down. Take a couple more pictures, send it over to the engineer. That way we can hopefully finalize those plans and keep moving forward with this project. And I'm starting to hear some footsteps up above. So that must mean that the guys are here. So we'll go see what they're up to. What you get so dirty at already this morning? I had to cut open the drywall down, down, downstairs. I do work every now and then, just yeah. only every now and then. I'm not, I'm not a yeah. super manager. He doesn't use his own you tools. But hey, he's hey, like... that's. <laughs> hey, but I gave you like a battery and a charger. Right? Here, here's your thing. <laughs> yeah, I hit my head enough. Ugh. All right. Well, now that I got the measurements, we got the guys all going on the job site here. So I need to run back to the office so I can get those pictures and measurements over to the engineer. So hopefully he can get us plans next week so we can get rid of that loaded wall. All right, so what we're doing here today is uh, get putting some screws down here into the flooring. Got a lot of squeaking and loose floors in here. So we're gonna go ahead and throw some screws in there and get it all nice and, uh, Nice and tight and everything before we bring in some plywood. Alright, so we're looking through here pretty good now. Uh, we got this living room completed. 
stuff. Marvin and Todd are gone. We've got all of our material inside that built this temporary wall for now. We're moving right along here now. Come through the entryway. Okay, we're in here. Got the area. This is just about completed. Let's go ahead and do a quick walkthrough to see what the guys got done today. I'm liking what I'm seeing to start out. As you can see, they got all of the underlayment put in all the way into that back room over there, then wrapped around here and up to the wall that we had to remove. So that's awesome. Already walking on this, it feels so much better. There's no deflection. It's really gonna make it easy for doing our floor prep when we go ahead and start laying the LVP here in a couple of weeks. So that's awesome. In the meantime, Marvin and Todd went ahead and knocked out building this temporary wall. They had to knock out a couple more sections of the framing attached from there over to here. So they got that done and then built this temp wall. We'll end up building a second temp wall on this side, but for right now, we had to leave it open until the engineer gets us back the plans. We'll drop this out, put in the temp wall, and then go ahead and hang the beam, and that'll be all done. Once we have that beam hung, then we can take away the temp wall, and we'll be able to move on to doing the drywall. So hopefully I get those plans back from the engineer by next week, so we can start moving ahead with that part of the project. Also next week, I'll be having the electrician come through. We'll be doing some lighting and everything else. So this project is starting to move along really well. And we are going to get to a point where this thing's going to start seeming like a house again. So that's awesome. With that, it is getting pretty darn late. It's about six o'clock at night here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow along with this project or any of the other ones that we have going on, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one.